Hi guys, so if you see by the title of this video, I did not like being pregnant. I didn't hate it, but also I didn't like it just because of everything that it came with um, with the pregnancy. I'm gonna tell you like from the beginning, everything that happened with, um, during my pregnancy that made me not like it. So I'm just gonna jump right in and start because there's, there are a lot of details. Um, so I found out pretty early, I found out around like four weeks, which is, I think it was like nine DPO, uh, days post ovulation. Um, because I was trying to get pregnant, I actually got pregnant like within the first actual month that we tried. But anyway, so I got pregnant and then at around like six weeks, um, I had spotting, which it was like, it wasn't bright red blood, but it was like pink and it would turn brown and then pink again and then it would stop and then it would come back. And I didn't go to the doctor yet. My appointment was, a, was gonna be when I was 12 weeks and I was like six weeks still so I was like freaking out I was so scared of um, having a miscarriage because I was in this one app and you kind of put your information there and when you put your information it will match with people that are like in the same stage as you so when I switched that I was pregnant um, all you would see at around like those four five six some weeks it's like so many miscarriage posts and stuff and I'm very I'm, a very anxious person so I am I was already like freaking out I was just like trying to think that you know it's not gonna happen blah blah but I was still trying to like prepare myself because if it, it happened I know it's like very common and a lot of people don't talk about it but I know it's very common and so I was trying to like prepare myself mentally if that did happen. I called my doctor and I was a new patient at the time. I just like found the doctor that was like close by. And so they like didn't have anything, any information for me, um, on me, I should say. But I asked if they could like put my um, appointment earlier because of the bleeding. They put me for like eight weeks they scheduled an appointment and then i went there and then but at that appointment they really didn't do much um i just they just like took my pee sample then she gave me a paper to call this one place to schedule my ultrasound which i scheduled for the next day i went there everything was fine but there was already like an anxiety for like two weeks that i was i was i was so nervous and so then everything was fine and at that time I was eight weeks and around like six weeks I started having really bad food aversion like I was starving all the time and there was nothing I could think about eating that sounded good like sometimes very randomly I would think like McDonald's or Subway and I knew that wasn't like really healthy but sometimes I was just like I need to eat something so that was the only thing I could think about eating so I would just go there and eat it because that was the only thing. Um, other things I could eat was like fruits, but fruit, like I would eat and then 10 minutes later I was starving again. So that didn't really fill me up. And I could eat like bagel with cream cheese and chocolate milk in the morning. Or I would eat like even like sometimes two times a day because that's all I could really eat. But I was like starving all the time. And... <laughs> That went away at around like 13 weeks, so it was a long time. Then we did the NIPT test, which is a genetic test for the baby and me. Um, so they check for trisomy 21 and all that and uh, Down syndrome. Um, they collect your blood sample and they test that. So they did that and they also tested me for like, I don't know, 300, 200 uh, other genetic uh, disorder I don't know how you call it but and then I was like very anxious for that too and they called me for the baby he was okay and then for me I found out that I am a carrier of one of the bad genes or whatever like this one gene that if me and my husband have it and there's a chance one in four chances that our baby could have it um so that was like that freaked me out like no one in my family knew we had this gene 
<laughs> so like um so when you have the gene you just have the gene you don't have the the thing um if for you to have it you're like my mom and my dad would have to have it both the genes and then there would be one in four chances that i would have it so it's not like a hundred percent that you were gonna have it but then they asked if my husband wanted to get tested I kind of wanted him to get tested and then he said like there's nothing we could do at this point for this baby um so I'm sorry if I'm like looking there <laughs> it's like I'm that's me thinking but he didn't want to get tested because there was nothing we could do for this baby and we just just decided not to and that he would get tested later on when we decided to have another baby um so then i was already freaking out because i didn't know if he had it um the gene or if like the baby had it so i was already like very anxious but anyway and then i we did the 20 week ultrasound which is they measured his spine they measure everything to see if like everything is normal with the baby it's like a very long appointment it's like 12 I mean, um, it's like an hour appointment, ultrasound. So they measure everything, they check everything, me from from me, from the baby. And in that ultrasound, I found out that our baby had a cyst in his brain. And that was very scary when I saw it. <laughs> I was like Googling it. It's like, uh, I forgot the name, but I'm gonna leave it here somewhere, um, the name of the cyst. But then like after a lot of research, I found out that it wasn't like that bad to have it, but I was still very worried. Um, and I also had like a um, fluid in my kidney, which is, I think it was like pee in my kidney that wasn't really like processing or something like that. I'm gonna try to put the name here too if I find it, but yeah. So there was like two other things that I was already freaking out especially his uh sis they recommended me to go do a renal 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 ultrasound um which i went and i did it and then i found out that i had kidney stones so there are like a lot of bad things happening during my pregnancy that made me like not fully enjoy it and not like it i feel like a lot of people um don't really talk about all this stuff that happens during the pregnancy it's just like this beautiful magical thing and for me it wasn't that because i was just so worried all the time everything every time i would go to an appointment something bad would like come back and that would freak me out and that would make make me anxious so i really didn't um enjoy it that much then i found out i had uh, kidney stones and they told me to go see a urologist which I still didn't do it because it was like one thing bad thing after the other and right after I found out and like for my for the fluid it was like it was okay there was nothing like too bad going on they said that it was fine it was just the pregnancy then after I found out I had gestational diabetes <laughs> that was like the cherry on top I was already like 28 29 weeks when I found out so if you don't know what gestational diabetes is, um, I will probably say like not too correctly, but it's when you get diabetes being pregnant. Like you get diabetes because you're pregnant, because your placenta, um, it's something to do with your placenta. You, I kind of forgot, like I would need to like research so I would get a better um, information here, but it's something with your placenta, you're not producing enough um, insulin your body is not producing enough insulin so you get like your blood sugar gets higher whenever you eat a lot of like carbs and stuff like that so i had to change i had to go to like another do diabetes doctor and i don't know if there was a specific word for that but <laughs> it was a diabetes doctor and i had to like check my blood sugar four times a day so i would use that little Thing and like clip not clip but poke my finger and then check my blood every time I eat like two hours after each meal and so it was one time before I ate anything which was the fasting number and then after it was the 
two hours after breakfast two hours after lunch and two hours after dinner so i would always have to check and there is like a range that i would need to be within and if my numbers weren't diet controlled which is what they call it like i might do like another video on how it was like to have digestion and diabetes um but then you are they give you medication to control it because if you have this just facing diabetes your baby can have problems it can be like too big they can grow a lot because they are like uh getting all these um since your body is not producing en enough insulin your baby like it's affecting your baby and they're getting like chubbier so with that i had to do more ultrasounds to check on his weight um, I know it's not always very accurate, but I still had to do those like scans to check on his weight and to check on him because it's kind of like in a way high risk when you have gestational diabetes. And so since I had gestational diabetes, I had to be induced to have my baby and I was induced at 39 weeks and five days. That's when I went to the hospital, but I'll go into that in another video on my birth video. That's like what all happened <laughs> to my pregnancy and i started to actually enjoy my pregnancy i feel like at the end when i was like i know a lot of people don't like the pregnancy at the end because they're already like big and they are uncomfortable and but i feel like at the end was when i was starting to like feel better and oh by the way the cyst on his brain um went away when we did the ultrasound it was a follow-up ultrasound and they checked his brain and it was totally gone so i was like super happy and then i remember the doctor he was like a it wasn't my regular doctor it was another like high risk doctor in a way genetic doctor i don't know but um he was like you're gonna be graduated from your ultrasounds but now you have gestation diabetes so you have to come again so it was like a hot mess the whole pregnancy like since the beginning my anxiety was so high and i did not enjoy like a lot of it because of that i was always like so anxious all the time but at the end i started to like enjoy more and be happy that i was pregnant and that i was gonna have my baby and so yeah that's like literally why i did not like being pregnant um i think it's beautiful to be pregnant but there's like so many things that can go wrong and it's just very scary but yeah so but now it's all gone <laughs> i am my baby now and by the way i am a month postpartum actually i'll be a month no i was a month yesterday so yeah that's it I just wanted to like document it here for myself in the future so I can come and see and like remember all the little details because I just I think it would be nice um, and also like that's the reason I want to start restart like on YouTube because I do want to have all these memories recorded so I just wanted to put it out there and if you're going through something like that like everything's gonna be fine at the end and yeah i am fine now i am my baby now so <laughs> i'm very happy and i'm glad the whole like pregnancy is gone and the anxiety of that is gone yeah that's it for this video if you want to see more motherhood and videos like this like pregnancy related i'm still gonna be recording so if you guys want to see just don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video.